This is the DropSense 75. It is my first 75% keyboard. It is an aluminum chassis, gasket mounted, south facing keyboard with customizable plate, weight, and knob options. I chose the Nightfall Edition, which comes with white on black DCX keycaps and Holy Panda X switches. As for the extras, I chose to get a carbon fiber plate and brass weight. Also, after trying the keyboard out in its stock form for a week or so, I also decided to swap out their stabilizers for Duroc stabilizers in clear. The Phantom stabilizers it comes with were fine, but I prefer screw-in stabs that have a slightly higher tolerance that reduces wobble. Taking apart this keyboard was extremely simple. With just some screws on the bottom, the chassis was apart and the keyboard assembly was entirely removed. The first thing I did at this point was replace the weight in the bottom of the case with the much heavier brass weight. After taking off the keycaps and pulling the switches, I was able to unscrew the plate from the PCB and start rebuilding the keyboard. I started with the stabilizers by removing the old ones and replacing them with freshly lubed and assembled Duroc V2 stabilizers. After that, I thought that it would be best to press the switches in while mounted in the chassis, but this ended up being a mistake. If you are using the carbon fiber plate, I definitely would suggest to mount the switches while the keyboard is out of the chassis, as the gasket mounting and flexibility of the carbon fiber plate kept many of my F keys from mounting correctly. This damaged the pins, and it took me a little while to straighten them back out and mount them. Sadly, I don't have the video of me putting on the tape mod as my SSD ran out of space, but I did use the included tape mod. Having it perfectly cut out for you and easy to apply is a really nice feature. Here's how it sounds. There is a tiny bit of case ping, but it's not distracting enough for me to care. I really like what Drop has done with this keyboard, allowing for bare bones kits, modular components, and added extras like the switch foam option that is now available. It is really great for customization and repairability. However, people that buy keyboards like this generally have more than one keyboard, so including an option for a case even at an extra cost would be a great addition. Hopefully the next video I post is going to be a Nintendo and alien themed novel keys NK87 as the first game I ever played was Jim Power Lost Dimension in 3D on the Super Nintendo. If you guys like this video, please hit that sub button, show me some love and I'll see you guys in the next one.